I know I'm crazy. This is like, this was supposed to happen at lunchtime today. But it didn't happen. It didn't happen, so it's happening now. Yep, it's happening now. Let's get right into it. Let's just go. Let's cut the music and let's get right in. First of all, thank you for joining. I really appreciate that. We're gonna go right in. We're gonna be playing Pinball FX3 on Steam. This is my personal, uh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Let me go back real quick. Oopsie. This is my personal FX3 collection. So we're gonna go back here. All right. So as you can see, we're logged in as Retro Ralph. I don't have the full complete collection. I have 90 out of 96. So I'm a big fan of the FX3 stuff. As a matter of fact, something interesting. So I think something I'm gonna cover on the channel, and you guys let me know if you're interested in this. I'm gonna cover the FX2 VR stuff. I know it's been out for a couple years now, I believe. The tricky part is trying to figure out how to film that, but I think I'm gonna do it. All right, question is what's not, what game should we start with here? I'm gonna have to start with Back to the Future, and the reason why is because the one up weekly, Justin, <laughs> has alerted me, how the hell did I not know this, being a Back to the Future fan, that the 35th anniversary is this Sunday. So you Back never know, maybe it could be possible and hot seat. that maybe the show would be about Back to the Future. I don't know, maybe, you never know. Oh, we're gonna start a new game. All right, just so you know, I'm playing it on Steam. Love freaking Back to the Future, by the way. I'm playing this on a pretty simple PC, no big deal. Uh, it's like a Dell 90, 1910 or something with a 1030 graphics card. So nothing crazy to run this stuff, by the way. All right, one of the cool things about these FX3 tables, it gives you like a, a lay of the land of the table. You get to see the flux capacitor. Um, it's awesome. Wait, hey, tomorrow is the anniversary? Oh. Dude, you're already messing with me. All right, let's do this. So have you guys ever played this table before? It's pretty neat. Um, destination time. All right, what do you think we should do? Should we do 2015? I want to start with eight. I want to start with 1985. I think, I think it's 1985, right? Let's go. Let's do it. So I love this game for a lot of reasons because I'm a Back to the Future fan. But um, but it's just a cool table. Shoot the ball, why not do it with some skill? And it, like you launch the ball with the time circuits, which is pretty neat. Welcome to my latest experiment. This is the big one, the one I've been waiting for all my life. I wish they would have used the real character actors in this, though. It's my only that's my only beef is that they Good used evening. you know whoever right they used, but it wasn't the original characters. Um, if you've never played these these uh, Zen Pinball FX3 tables, they're pretty fun. This one doesn't have as many frills as some of the other ones, but some of the other ones have a lot of little like mini games and stuff. Like one of my favorite ones is Doom. I really like playing the Doom table. We just bought us some so I don't know if you guys have actually right. played, the, uh, played many of these, but they're the pretty fun. Heads. Electrical, but I need All a right. reaction to generate the How many Back to the Future fans out there? I mean, Back to the I Future need. is like something from my childhood I'll never forget. It's just like, it's really sad to say this, and, and I've said this on One Up Weekly before, I could probably, like I could yeah, almost cry on it so much, which is really weird. And I'll tell you guys a story, and I don't want to ruin the show on, um, this is what makes time travel hey possible. console kids, what's up the buddy? I don't want to ruin the show, but one of the things that's so cool uh, is it for the 30th anniversary of Back to the Future? I took my kids, who my kids, the car, the car. my kids, I I like kind of made them Back to the Future fans. But Colorado, the Colorado Symphony Orchestra was doing this thing, and it was super cool. So basically, they would take the music from the the Alan Silvestri soundtrack, right? They took that and they basically played the movie in the in the theater, but then the real orchestra was playing. Uh, the music it was insanely cool like it was it was like raising hair on your arms kind of cool like that cool okay it was it was blow your mind so anyways I love the sound effects the sound effects are all from the movie but they didn't use the voice actors like I said you know one game I I played 
very little of. I was cur I'm curious if you guys played it since we're talking about Back to the Future. Did anybody play the Tall Tale Games series that came out on, I think it was Xbox and Steam and all that? Um, someone's asking how they download this game on their PC. It's available on Steam. So if you download FX3, and right now there's like a discount on FX3 stuff. So definitely go check it out. Uh, but yeah, so anyways, yeah, via Steam. So thanks, Jim, for answering that question. Seems like my chat's a little bit delayed here, so I'm not seeing everything. Yeah, it's a fun game, super fun table. There's so many fun tables on this FX3 stuff. Um, they haven't released a new one in a while, and uh, one of the representatives from Zen Studios was talking about this the other day. They're working on a lot of big things right now. Zen had this initiative I want to say it was like a couple years ago where they called it Pinball Anywhere, where they were just trying to put pinball games in everywhere, right? You can play it on your phone, you can play it on your laptop, you can play it on your desktop, you can play it on Steam, you can play it on your iOS device, everything. And um, so they, they've been working on some bigger projects, but I don't know what they are. And then they did the Steam VR stuff, which is really cool. But yeah, this is one of my favorite movies of all time. So anything related to Back to the Future. But I was wondering, Chris Guys Out, what's up, dude? I was wondering if anybody has done the Tall Tale Games thing. Because I have the disc and I've never played it. And I feel, I well, I shouldn't say I never played it. I played it on my iPad. Um, but it was like very brief. And I, I don't know, it was at a time in my life where I was too busy to do any games. But uh, I gotta, I gotta play it. Because it's like basically, if I understand it correctly, it's this Back to heavy. the Future 4, I think, is what that is. Someone, so Chris Guys Out said he heard it's really good. I think Console Kits has actually played it um, all the way through, I think. So, I couldn't end like this. Yeah, this table is available on Switch, too. It's actually, um, I'll show you really quick. I'm not playing on Switch just because, so it's weird, right? When you get into these, vir these virtual pinball builds... Uh, I ended up doing everything on Steam because the only reason why I had it on Steam is so I could put it on an arcade cabinet, right? A pinball cabinet, because uh, with Steam, you can do cabinet mode and you can basically like have the DMD and all that stuff. So that's what I wanted to do. But there's a lot of cool features of, um, of Pinball FX3. Like there's these challenges that you can do, which is pretty cool. So like it'll just give you like certain things that you need to do within the game. The other thing that's really cool is there's um, there's tournaments. So like if you want to play in a Zen tournament, you can actually play in a tournament. These are pretty neat. So if anybody's you know really into pinball, you might dig this stuff. The unfortunate thing is, so everyone knows that Arcade One Up is coming out with uh, a virtual pinball device really soon, and it's going to be Marvel. Um, why can't I think? Star Wars and uh, Attack from Mars. And the thing is. Uh, it's not going to have the online capability, which is kind of a bummer, but they've alluded to the fact that later on they're going to have it. But, you know, you have access to leaderboards and stuff like that. So but they're not going to have that in wave one, I guess. But but check out all the games. There's lots of cool games. So they've, they've secured a lot of interesting IP, right? Because they've got Universal. They've got Marvel, which I love the Guardians of the Galaxy one. I'll play it for you guys in a second. They have a ridiculous amount of Star Wars games. I mean, so if you're a Star Wars fan, then you're going to really like the Zen stuff. Um, they've got um, Fallout, uh, Doom, Skyrim. They've got Aliens versus Pinball. They have Fox. So if you're a fan of I'm a Family Guy fan, it's the table's kind of fun. It, it's cool because it has the original voice actors for it. Uh, I've never played The Walking Dead, but there's a lot of really good titles here. Like, it's hard to get lazy, or hard to get, not lazy, it's hard to get bored with these. There's a bunch of them. And then there's a bunch of, like, original titles, too. Uh, and the originals are pretty good. The stuff Zen Studios does is pretty good, too. So you can see there's, like, a bunch. But I'm going to I'm gonna do, um, I'm going to do Guardians of the Galaxy really quick. For one, I love the movie. It has cool music in it, and um, it's a really, like, fast-paced table, so it's fun. Guardians of the Galaxy. Single player Let's do it. Oh, uh oh, Indie Gamer Chick is in here. I'm not talking about pinball because she is like a pinball god, so, or a goddess, rather. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to mess with her when it comes to pinball. She'll kick my ass. Uh, but definitely go check out uh, Indie Gamer Chick has a blog out there which talks a lot about pinball. So definitely uh, highly respected in the pinball space. That's, that's for sure. But life is giving us a chance. 
But I'm a fan of uh, I'm a fan of this table. It's super fun. It starts off crazy. Oh, that's cool. It starts off like super insane with like multi ball right from the start. So it's like right from the start, it's super exciting. And you know, biff I kept on using the word biffing it lately, and I think that's like a wicked '80s thing that my sister maybe used to said. Like you biffed it. Where did that even come from? It's weird that I keep saying that. I said that I was watching back one of my other streams, and I was like, why did I say biff it a million times? It's kind of a weird thing. My name's Peter Quill. There's one like, who said Biff? I know Biff from Let's Back to the Future, but I Let I don't know where that out. term came from. If anybody knows, let me know, because I keep saying it for some reason. So as you can see, this is kind of chaotic right from the start of the game. Like, you've got all this crazy multi-ball action going on, which I love that stuff. It's super exciting. So something I found out the other day, and I know... Stringer Films, what's up? Yeah, I know, holy balls, right? <laughs> it's a lot going on. It's a fun table, man. Guys, let's go. Okay. Rude. Let's it basically like it basically takes all your balls here. away right now, and then you start over, and I think you have to try to... Let's see, I can't I remember can't what happens here. Music. Oh, yeah, he doesn't have his music or something. It's this whole, this whole thing about... Forget it, Quill. There's no time. When the fate of All right, let's go. Let's do it. Chart toppers is on the line. There's always time. Again, this one doesn't have oh, original yes, voice actors either. Most excruciating of all, all right, let's do this. I, I love the claims. music in this game. It starts. Uh, it starts no stepping it up. All right, let's see if I can get this. So this part, you're trying to get the target. You try. So you basically take your launch button and you got to get him in the crosshairs. I got it. Which is cool. A lot of these Zen tables do a lot of cool stuff like that. Lots of neat, like, mini game type things. Like, things that weren't in a lot of some original pinball. So that's the thing. Some people don't like that about Zen. They'll say that that'll be their comment. They're like, ah, oh, it feels too arcade arcade game and less pinball. Because a lot of these weren't actual pinball tables, right? Some of them were just made. Like, they were just made for digital format only. All right, we got to step this up. All right, come on, we got this. We got it last time. We can get it again. Yeah. <laughs> that was embarrassing. All right, let's come on. We got to do better than that. So first challenge, you're trying to spell rocket. So what do you guys think of this? Like, oh, man. This wasn't you know, the plan. you know, it's really fun to download these too on your. If you have a Nintendo Switch, it's really fun to download these on a Nintendo Switch. The app is available, and you can um, you can turn your Switch vertically. If you tap the screen, it actually enables you to 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 flip your Switch vertically, which actually is pretty neat. And a lot of people are building arcade cabinets from Switches, so there's an encoder board out there that actually supports. Gosh, I can't catch a break. Yeah, there's an encoder board out there that supports the Nintendo Switch. Actually, Chris Geizat, who's in the chat right now, I think, he uh, he showcased it on the channel, and uh, it works really good. And you can um, you can then play your pinball game. So you could technically build a pinball cabinet with a Switch, which could be kind of fun if you're just looking to build something like a little tabletop one or something. Slap a Switch in there. It's S J at J X is the name of the. I don't know why I remember that. I don't know why it's, a, it's a, whoever made up that name. It's a cool name. I don't know why. It's it's weird, but it's cool. So, uh, as I was saying before, for those of you that are just joining, uh, what's the refresh rate on the Switch screen? I would imagine it's 60 hertz. It'd be 60 frames per second, I think, is what it would be. I think. Dirk the Dairy? That's a good question. I think that's the answer. If not, someone can tell me I'm wrong, but I think that's what it is. All right, so we're going to go, we're going to back out of this. What other games do you guys want to check out? There's a bunch of them on here. So, My collection. I mean, you can, it's it, like I said, it's hard to get bored with this. But, uh, but as I was saying, so I don't know how many of these titles they haven't, they haven't told us yet. So the arcade one at pinball machines coming out, it's based on Zen. Uh, it's, you know, Zen studios is working with them to create this. And, uh, which one, where's monster bash? I don't think I've ever played that one. Is that, that's one of their originals, isn't it? Where is it? Help me out. Oh, there it is. Okay. No, it's a Williams table. I don't know that I've ever actually played this table before. Oops. My collection. I'll give it a shot, man. Arg if Arcade says it. Oh, I don't own it. All right, we'll buy it. 
All right, hold on a second. We're going to buy it. So this is just an example of how you'd buy it. So if you look right now that this table right here, the, you get the whole pack for 749. So I'm going to add that to my cart. Uh, purchase for myself. I think I'm using my PayPal account, so hopefully it won't like expose all my stuff <laughs> to, to you guys. Like, yeah, cool, man. But you get to see it's very quick. You can download this really quick and be off and playing. So it's super easy to buy games. All right, it says thank you for your purchase. So it should actually be available to us now. And you click on the top for return to game. And there it is. It's available to us already. Bam. Single player and hot That's all you got to do. Uh, original or family mode? Now nah, we'll do original. No family mode over here. Um, so someone Stringer Films is asking a question about would tables be up for purchase? I don't think in version one of the uh, cabinet they're going to do that. So according to everything I've heard and from them themselves, that's not going to be available in the first round of the cabinet. Okay. So there is a way to change the view on this. And I can't remember how to do it. Because I don't like this view. I feel like it's too far away. can't remember how to change it though. There we go. Uh, I think that view is better. You guys like that view better? I feel like this view is a little hard sometimes because the ball comes so fast that it's like hard to... Okay, it's not bad, but the DMD is in the way now. Oh, Starship Troopers would be fun. Um, Starship Troopers though, I think is, isn't that a stern table? That's a stern table. So that's on um, Pinball Arcade. Uh, there is something I found out the other day from someone that was watching the channel. My favorite pinball machine. L let me know in the chat what your favorite pinball machine is. But my favorite pinball machine of all time. I'm sorry. And it's just it's a nostalgia thing, right? My favorite pinball of all time is actually the Terminator 2 pinball table. So Terminator 2, I heard from someone on the channel that Terminator 2 is available in a season two pack of pinball arcade. And I didn't know that. And so like... You know, obviously I have it. I have it on um, Visual Pinball 9, but I really want to play. So Indie Gamer Chick, is it a, is, is the one on Pinball Arcade good? Because I love that table. I play it under, I think it's Visual Pinball 9, and I love it. Like, it is freaking awesome. This is actually a pretty fun table, actually. Toy Shark. Man, some of these tables are so fun. I never, I actually never played this one. It's pretty fun. The thing about pinball is so many good pinball tables out there. Um, but yeah, I was just curious. Like, do you guys like? Do you guys prefer pinball arcade or Zen? Because some people will say they like pinball arcade better, um, and some people will say they like Zen better. I'm not a big fan of those Gottlieb titles, and it seems like pinball arcade has a ton of those, and they were all over the Toy Shock. I'm not a big fan of those. Like, there's a couple of decent games, but... Oh, really? So Chris says Pinball Arcade. Really? Over Zen? Okay, he agree agrees Gottlieb is not good. Um, all right, let's go back. We'll play one. We'll play a couple more. I'm actually playing while Kim is working out, so it's going to be a short stream. But the reason why I wanted to do this is because I did pinball arcade the other day i did the stern titles of pinball arcade the physical disc and the reason why i did that is because i wanted to play acdc now indie gamer chick knows that you can get totally thrashed uh from a copyright perspective for doing anything acdc somehow it only caught a minute of it and i edited it out and for some reason it was like it was fine so it, it's even i don't know it came back and it was fine so i did go and buy that season two disc that indie gamer chick's talking about so there's two there's two major players here really when it comes to pinball virtual pinball as far as like console gaming and then even on some of the you know perfect like the digital tables but you've got zen and then you've got farsight studios so farsight studios is pinball arcade for those of you that don't know and then zen studios is fx2 fx3 that kind of stuff and they even have fx2 vr which i'm going to attempt to stream i'm trying to figure out the best way to capture that experience it's kind of hard because vr is like really you know more about what the individual is experiencing but i played it the other day and i was like wow it kind of felt like i was standing in front of a pinball table i was like kind of impressed by it uh it was really neat so i'm, I'm looking forward to uh you know to trying that out a little bit more 
you know, I don't know if in, indie gamer chick, since you do most of the most of the pinball stuff, do you how do you feel about um, how do you feel about the VR stuff? Because I thought it was pretty neat. It it definitely gave me like a neat effect. She's our resident uh, right now. She's our resident expert pinball person. So there's a game I played that came for free. I think it's this one, Sorcerer, sure. Sor Sorcerer's Lair. It's kind of fun. Single player and hot seat. Ten has Williams license now, so available soon here. Yeah. So um, uh, no, I what Dirk, I wasn't playing it on Oculus Rift. I was actually playing it on the. I have an Oculus Rift, but my room here that I have all my stuff set up in. There's not, a, there's not a ton of space, so, and I already have a PlayStation 4 in here, so I did it on PSVR. It's basically Tanner, my son's PSVR, but he never used it. He never got into it, really. He played that one Batman game and thought was wicked into it, and then it didn't, it was short-lived. And he has no interest in getting, like, a quest or anything like that, so. Oh, that's awesome. Jeez, come on. There we go. These mini games are, like, the, the 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 spacing between the flippers is like crazy it's so wide you know something else i really want to get into too so i'm, I'm starting to look at more uh, of the virtual pinball stuff and I'm, I'm trying to figure out something i haven't done before is tried to build a table with um or build a virtual pinball system with the solenoids and the accelerometers and all that i haven't done that yet uh it's kind of weird look it up on youtube you start looking it up and there are videos of like it's hardcore. I mean, the wiring involved, but I feel like that's probably gotten simplified a little bit over the years. So I'm going to try to give that a shot and maybe do some tutorials on that uh, once I learn it. No escape, trust yeah, I don't know why. This table's kind of fun. I've played this one before because I think this is the one they give you for free. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm reading the chat, so I'm totally bitting it. <laughs> oh, the attack from Mars is missing several lights. I haven't actually played... The attack from Mars on Zen. So let's check that out. I've only played the, I don't know, it must have been the visual pinball eight or nine one. All right, let's see. All right, there it is. Yeah, it'll be interesting. Just real quick before we start this, it'll be interesting what they actually include. Like they're doing a Marvel cabinet. Are they gonna pick 10 of these Mar Marvel games? Uh, the arcade one-up one, or like how many are they gonna pick? And then the other thing is, you know, clearly they're doing Star Wars one, there's a ton of Star Wars tables, so how many of these are they going to actually put on the cabinet? It'll be interesting. They did say even though it's not Wi-Fi connected, it's you're going to be able to update it. I don't know what update it means. Update it might mean patches and stuff like that. It might, it might, that, that might just be all it means, but we'll see. Single player and all right, let's do it. What's the 10 for? Oh, is it going to be 10? Has it been f uh, fully decided that it's 10? All right, which view do you guys prefer? There's, so there's view two, which gives you a little bit more of the table, but it gives you a lot of the room. And then the view three, I think, is almost too close. I think view four might be, oh, wait, view five is good. But view six is in bed. <laughs> I'm the most, I'm the most <laughs> indecisive person. Wait, are you saying view two? You like view two, Chris? Really? Oh, really? Everyone's into two, huh? All right. Oh, really, Dirk? Dirk, I'll have to, I'll have to check that out, because, like... Uh, see, I don't like this view. I feel like it's too far away. Yeah, thanks, Chris. Thanks for steering me in the right direction, bud. All right, hold on. Return to battle, soldier. I'm saying four. Four's good. So this is a this is a great ta table on uh, visual... I think it's visual pinball nine is what I have it on. Um, the one thing I'll say, I don't know that I love the ball, um, like the ball trails. I don't know if I love that turned on or not. It kind of makes it look a little like inauthentic, I think. Oh, wait, Chris says four now. Oh, and Arcade says one W. Oh, you're right. I think one W is the one. It's one W, but you know what's bugging me? The DMD's bugging me. Video. It's not in the right place to me. I can't remember where you even Interface. set it. Uh, video. I thought it was under video. Where is it? Interface. Someone help me. You know, I know you could turn off ball trails. I was just, I was just trying to. Let's see. Interfa video. I thought it was like right here. There's ball ball trails off. 
Shadow quality high. I wonder if I can go up to eight with this video card. I don't know if I can. I'll try. All right. Interface. Oh gosh, it's probably gonna like totally jack up. All right. Bit audio settings. Legal okay, let's do it. Game paused. Uh, let's go back. Wait, streaming down. What are you talking about? Streaming down. What do you mean? No, there. Streaming down. What? Audio options. What are you guys talking about? Oh, right Bit there. Interface. I don't see DMD for some reason. Oh, there it is. I don't. I want it on the left. I like it on the left. And I think, I think medium's good. Game paused. All right, let's try it out. Let's go back. This is this is where it's at. We got this. Oh no, I don't want it bottom left. Ah, I don't like it there, but that's fine. I think this view is is good though. So has anyone in the chat ever played with solenoids and done all that? Because that's something I want to figure out. Like I need to figure that out. I'm very, very intrigued with playing with those and trying to get those working. Now, I know in Visual Pinball, it's like there's settings for, I can't remember what you call the service that you use to, it's like a, it's not service, but there's like a software package name in there that that you like, I don't know, it's like a framework or something that you use to do the solenoid stuff. I know I'm talking out of my ass, but I can't remember what it's called, but there's like a framework name. And basically it, it's to control all that stuff. And I've never really, God, I've never really played with it. Is it DOF? What's DOF stand for? Is that what it is? DOF? DOF. Is it DOF? What does it stand for? Wow, oh, we totally did terrible right there. <laughs> Single player results. Yeah, so has anybody ever played with it? Someone tell me. Someone tell me if they've played with it or not. Hey, so Indie Gamer Chick, can you plug your latest blog? Didn't you have a blog that you just did? I haven't got a chance to check it out yet because I was a little busy tonight, but... Uh, someone's asked, what are the minimum PC specs for running most tables? So this one I'm running, um, it's an i5. It's an i5. I can't remember how what the chip frequency is, but it's like a 2 point something gigahertz processor. And I'm running a 1030 graphics card. It runs this stuff no problem. Wow, it seems like it's harder from this view. I don't know. <laughs> you played so bad she left. That's not cool, man. Ralph sent email. Mario saves the world. Funny video. Oh, all right. I'll check it out, man. That's awesome. Mario saves the world. Okay. I'll definitely check it out. Thank you for the super chat, by the way. All right. All right. We're going to play a little bit more of this, and then I got to call it done. It's, it's one of those things. It's late. I'm a little bit tired. I'm, I'm definitely in Ralph chill mode right now. All right, we're about 30 minutes in. That's what I thought I would do, about a 30-minute stream. But I definitely wanted to cover this because we covered... Oh, I'm sucking so bad. We covered um, Pinball Arcade this week, so I thought we'd call pin, cover Pinball... Or cover um, FX3. And then I definitely want to cover... Um, I definitely want to cover the, the 3D stuff or the virtual reality stuff on FX2. But if you're joining new, basically, there's a lot of cool things about FX3. So you have competitive play options. You've got tournaments that you can join and play. And then you have leaderboards, which is really cool. Now, keep in mind, if you have this on an arcade, on a cabinet, you can enable cabinet mode. So to enable cabinet mode, basically, you have to email them uh, and then they'll give you an activation code. They make you take a picture of the system you're running it on. So if it's like a you know pinball cabinet you're building or whatever, a vertical cabinet, you can enable that. And then you can enable such things as the active back glass and the DMD, and you can move it into the you know second and third screens. So it's pretty cool. They do take a little while to get back to you though, I've noticed, because I set it up on one of my cabinets downstairs and which I no longer have. But uh, yeah, it, they, I seem like they took a long time. I was like, all right, I don't know why it took that long. Um, uh, yeah, so Arcade's asked, asked about the cabinet. I sold my full size one, unfortunately, and I was kind of a bummer, but. All right, Stringer Films. Waiting to see one up pin before building. Wanted to see guts of one up pin before. So I'm going to take some guesses here on the one up pinball. I think it's going to be Android based, but I do know this much. It appears that they've custom made, uh, they're really customizing the software for arcades, arcade one ups hardware, which is really cool. 
Um, this game seems like the ball's really floaty for some reason. I don't know why. Um, the power generators shut down. It is oh, crucial man. to get them up and working to continue. This is one of my favorite uh, pinball games on here, too. This one's super cool. That has all these like mini table things right here. We gotta get this power generator back up. But I keep dying. <laughs> Ian, how's it going, buddy? All right, let's get this generator back up. The sound effects and gosh, man, I can't like catch a break tonight. Apologize for what's happened here. Yeah, I'd like to apologize too. All right, Stringer Films, haptic feedback and plunger. Yeah, so they are gonna have the plunger and they're gonna have haptic feedback, which is really cool. Um, we'll see how it's, I'm so curious to open that thing up, man. It's gonna be one of the first things I do. Uh, just to just to get an idea of how they're doing it on a budget because you know virtual pinball god virtual pinball is one of those things that i played with a lot and um and um well, it's hard for me to concentrate and play this game that stuff's really expensive to do i mean virtual pinball in in general is expensive to do like i mean i had like a i had like a 2500 you know 3000 ish dollar cabinet and it didn't have haptic feedback i also had a um you guys may have heard of there's a company that was on Shark Tank called shoot uh, VP Cabs. I had a VP Cabs Vertigo. If you've never seen that, go look it up. But it's a vertical pinball cabinet. I loved the cabinet, but it didn't have haptic feedback. But they had, it had like this killer subwoofer in it. It was cool. It was just really expensive. I bought it used. Uh, it was still a really neat cabinet. It used steam. You could update the cabinet. It was technically kind of a connected cabinet, so you could update it and stuff. So this is pretty neat, but but also super pricey though, you know? So this is like the first time we're seeing virtual pinball be as affordable as it is. I, you know, talking about the first couple ones in the market, I did not think, I mean, I did my review on the Toy Shock. I did not think it was a good pinball machine. Uh, it had a bunch of, you know, it had lag. It um, it wasn't running at 60 frame per, frames per second. Now I didn't really realize that because I didn't test it. Um, you know, I didn't lag test it or anything, but it did, um, you could tell the ball felt really floaty, and it was um, it was because the something was wrong with the main board. It couldn't run the games at 60 frames per second. So it's kind of a bummer. Oh gosh, Stringer Films, dude. Yeah, the the Stern stuff's just awesome. Like, I played that. Um, I played the Stranger Films table at uh, CES with Justin, and holy crap, him and I were just like flipping out. I was like, dude, this is so awesome. Oh yeah, so H. Lee said, yeah, VP cabs was tough. I liked the cabinet, but the problem is, is like those vertical cabinets, man, those vertical cabinets can like really jack with your neck because you're kind of like playing like this. Where like, obviously if it's in front of you, you see the whole play field. I mean, you are looking down too. And how I alleviated that is you, if you're gonna get a vertical cabinet, you play with uh, on a stool, it helps a lot. All right, I'll play one more and then we gotta go. So I'm actually planning on doing a video tomorrow on the Sharpen. You guys familiar with the Sharpen? The Sharpen is a tabletop pinball device. It runs on Android. It's actually really, it's, this part is so hard with the, I feel like this part is really hard. Hold on, let me concentrate. Ah. Dang it. Um. Yeah, so I'm gonna do a video on the Sharpen. It's a tabletop pinball machine. It runs off of Android, and it does have these same Zen tables, but they're like a little bit scaled back. They're pretty. They're pretty cool. So if you've never heard of the Sharpen, go check it out. It's made out of Europe, and it's pretty. Oh wait, you're not doing that video tomorrow. We both know it. No, I'm doing the video tomorrow. I definitely am doing that video tomorrow. Um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna do more more on the Rec Room Masters for sure. You know, obviously there was some things where I had to change it up a little bit. They're sending me a new control panel too, so they're gonna have a different control panel option that'll be wired for, um, to emulate an Xbox 360 controller. So it will work out of the box with point ops. So if you're using things like point ops, it will just work. Um, so they're gonna have that option now. They didn't have that option before and they're gonna send me the new control panel. So I'll have both of them, which is really cool. So I'll let you guys know, but I'm definitely gonna do a video as soon as I get that new control panel. But I'm having a blast with that cabinet, running the Steam stuff on it, so 
Oh, this Doom, Ian, this Doom pinball is super fun. Like, I could play this one for hours. The thing that's cool about these is if you don't have a pinball cabinet, you can just kick back on your couch where your Xbox is or your PlayStation 4 and just play these or your Switch. They have it on everything. That's the thing. Like, SX3 is on every platform. So you can play it on Android. Well, FX3 isn't on Android, but Zen is. The thing is, they have a lot of the same tables. They're just kind of like dialed back graphically. It does ship with an iPad too. They're just gonna have some kind of new new option. I don't know exactly what they're doing with it yet, but um, they're shipping it to me to test it out. That was unexpected. Yeah, this game, Glass Babies, that's a funny name, by the way. <laughs> uh, so now someone was saying they like retro pug said he liked the tabletop uh, machine i did with the 24 inch screen that one's actually um that one is uh rec room or sorry not record masters that's game room solutions that's their viewlix cabinet that's a very cool tabletop pinball machine too you're gonna pay a lot less for something like that i think than the sharpen so you could totally build that uh doom is in the i can never say it that that the, <laughs> it's like but the test Bethesda, I can never say the name of that company. It's in this pack right here. And you get Fallout, Doom, and Skyrim. I don't know what the heck Zen Pinball has done to secure these titles, but they have such crazy titles. All right, I'm gonna finish it with Family Guy and then we're gonna wrap it up, okay? Family Guy. <laughs> How many of you guys love Family Guy? I love Family Guy, man. Oh, this is fun, huh? Yo, I got a deck of uh, cards. All right, so someone just said, just bought a pinball cabinet off of Facebook Marketplace for 150 New CPU delivered today. Excited to see how the final product. That's cool, man. Yeah, dude, arcades, I'm with you. I'm calling BS on 1080p. I think they're going to run at 720p. I, don't, I do not think they're going to be 1080p. Well, then but, this has been an absolute misfire. But hey, who knows? You know, they've, they're both pretty vague right now on details. I wish 1UP would give us a little bit more detail, but I'm gonna, we're gonna try to, me and Justin are gonna try to get it out of John. I know he's trying to save some of it, but it's like, just let us know, you know? But I'm pretty close with John, so I'm sure I can heckle him a little bit. I tend to text, D, like send him texts at, at, on like weekends when he's had a couple of drinks and stuff. He tends to divulge a little bit more. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. He doesn't really. Although if we put him on the show, he does. <laughs> I think David, uh, David, who does marketing for them, I think goes crazy when John talks Perfect. because John will, will uh, you know, sort of say enough that you can kind of right, figure out what he's talking about. Give me your best shot. He gives you enough of the details. Um, there's a part where, hold on, I'm gonna show you this if I can, if I can do it. I'm really excited. Next week I'm playing Terminator 2 on the oh, channel. No. I've been, I've been on this like pinball kick lately, so. Pinball, Terminator 2 is such a freaking fun cabinet. Or such a freaking fun table. Oh, oh. I'll put links in the description to all the Steam stuff I'll afterwards. Probably tomorrow. Actually, probably not till tomorrow. But you guys, you guys can can figure out where to get it. It's all on. Uh, good, good so far. It's all on Steam or whatever your favorite console is, basically. I find the only thing with this game is like it kind of gets like the music. It sort of gets boring. Like I feel like. I feel like the Family Guy Perfect. table is a little bit boring. Yeah. I don't know what you guys think, but I'm doing all right though, for now. How come it's so hard to meet the right woman? Oh, oh look, pal, I don't take coupons from giant chickens. Not after last time. <laughs> <laughs> Any Family Guy fans in here? I haven't been able. To... All right, she's getting more exciting now. All right, we're excited. We're excited oh, now. This is fun, huh? I'm doing okay right now, so I gotta focus. Ah, dang it. All right, so check this out. Oh man, he launched the ball. Oh, he auto-launched the ball. You can hit Peter and knock him over, basically. If you don't give it, like, full force, you can knock him over. It's pretty funny, actually. So if I, if I can do it, I'll do it right now. Yeah, I'll let the ball. All right, check it out. All right, ready? Oh, and the adventure begins again. Oh, wait, hold on. Joe, that was so close. Oh, I didn't hit him. Here, I'll try it again. Oh, uh, he doesn't let... Nah, I hate when it auto-launches it. Hold on. What? We'll try one more time. Yeah. Uh, there is a South Park table, but not 
I don't know who does the what South Park doing, cable. All right, here, we're going to try it now. There, I knocked him over. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's exit out of here. Single player and my collection main menu. All right, so uh, I don't know who has South Park. Who has South Park? Is it is it Pinball FX two? No, I didn't think so. I don't know. Anyways, all right, let's get let's get the let's get the music on here. I'll kill this. All right, where's my where's my intro music? There we go. All right. All right, guys, that's it. I know I'm, I'm a little bit, I'm, I'm subdued, Ralph, tonight, but it's because I'm tired. It's been a long week, and tomorrow, thank God, it's Friday. But I appreciate you guys joining and hanging out. This was just a small look at Pinball FX3. It's by Zen Studios. It's available on everything. You can get, you know, you can get Zen Pinball on Android. You can get Zen Pinball or Pinball FX3 on your Switch, on your PS4, on your Xbox One. So you can get it on and, and Steam. I think I said that twice. So yeah, so you can get it everywhere. It's pretty cool. It's fun, fun stuff. And uh, you can see right here, there's so many tables to choose from. So it's pretty cool. Uh, you kind of can't, you know, like I said, you can't get bored. And the cool thing about pinball, guys, is that you can just pick it up and go. Like, that's what I like about it. Because I can go and, like, throw this up on the TV downstairs on the Xbox and just, like, play a little bit and... And, you know, just in between things that I'm doing. So it's 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 actually really fun to take breaks with pinball. So if you're like, you know, I don't know, if you're just like in the house doing something or whatever, or you're doing yard work or whatever the heck you do, uh, and you want to take a break, it's fun. So that's it. That's it. That's all I got. That's all I got. So thanks for hanging out, guys. I appreciate it. If you like the video, you know, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel and turn on notifications so you can be informed of future videos like this one. And don't forget to watch the One Up Weekly. It is every Sunday at 4 p.m. Pacific time. All right, guys, that's it for now. And we will see you on the next one. See you guys. Take care. Have a good 4th of July.